Is Manchester United finished? What's gonna happen to Spurs? Kane's gone, then Son, now Madison's out for six months? Are Forest a top eight team still? Will City bounce back or the cracks starting to show? After a weird season, it's easy to get caught in the noise. Everyone's got a take, but nobody's got perspective. That's where Motson comes in. Football narratives swing hard. One win, your title contenders. One loss, it's the end of the world. Some fans overreact to every wobble, others cling to preseason predictions no matter what's changed. And the worst part? The loudest takes often come from people watching through just one lens. You know the guys I'm talking about. The nostalgia guys, still shouting about Man United's trouble winning season, wondering if Messi could do it on a cold night in Stoke, reliving that one magical night in Istanbul and ignoring a part where Jose Mourinho called him irrelevant even at his peak. He's missing momentum. He can't see what's changed because he's still trapped in what used to work. Then there's the narrative merchant. He wavers between Torres is back and Torres is finished after every shot, shouts Wenger out after every loss, and then paints a mural of the set-piece coach after every win, declares this is the season Pep is finished by week two, only to never mention again when City finished top. That is until week two of next season when he does it all over again. He's missing gravity. No weight, no memory, no anchor, just vibes. Finally, there's the spreadsheet hermit tinkering with their expected goals formula like it's 2015, tubing hyperparameters and tweaking the font on their data viz one more time, running endless simulations focused on what could have happened instead of what did, and plugging their ears. Because it's not on the spreadsheet, it's irrelevant, and anyone who disagrees is out of touch. They're missing judgment. They've got precision, but no perspective. Here's the thing, you can't understand football by looking through just one lens. The past matters, but it misses what's happening right in front of you. The story matters, but it overlooks the deeper forces that shape the game. The data matter, but they limit you to what can be measured and miss what makes the beautiful game beautiful. You need all three. And that's what we are here to do, that's what Motson is built to do. On paper, Monson is just a model, running sims all day and all night in AWS. But here's the thing, here's the big difference. It didn't start with code, it started with judgment. With how smart fans think, with how they react to wins, losses, form, considering reputation, when they should update and when they shouldn't. Most football models start with a tool, like expected goals, then stack on layers of math to answer bigger questions. Monson flips that. It starts with a mental model, a clear way of thinking about football, and then makes it formal with math. Thought first, math later. I started with gravity, because the biggest clubs don't just disappear after a bad stretch. History, money, reputation, they shape the game even when the form dips. Think about Liverpool pre-Klopp. Think about Milan at for you know, most of the 2010s, quite frankly. They come back, they come and go, you see what happens. And if you ignore that, your predictions start getting silly. But then it added momentum. Because while gravity pulls, momentum pushes. And when a team really catches fire, it matters. Maybe not forever, but enough to shift your expectations and enough to make you rethink what you thought you knew. Thinking about Leicester City in 2016 is the classic example. But we'll see about Forest. we'll see about Villa, we may see about Newcastle coming up. The final point though, I know those forces don't always point in the same direction. Gravity pulls you back, momentum pushes you forward, and sometimes they're in conflict. So I added judgment, not just as a tiebreaker, but as kind of a unifying force. Something to hold those competing truths in balance, to help the model stay grounded without getting stuck, and stay responsive without getting carried away. So what do you actually get from following me and following Motsum? First, you get an expected table, updated every week. Where do they stand today? Controlling for strength of schedule, controlling for momentum, controlling for gravity, and bring it together with judgment. Not hot takes, not vibes, just judgment. Instead of one prediction, you're gonna get a full spread of outcomes built on tens of thousands of simulations. Who's most likely to finish top? Who's in danger of slipping in the bottom three? And how likely is your favorite team to end up anywhere in the table? Next, you're going to get team trajectories. Where are they going? 
Mods is gonna track how each team's strength evolves over time based on what they've done and who they've done it against. You'll see when a hot streak is actually meaningful, when a slump isn't as deep as it feels, or when you see something that matters. Finally, you'll get weekly match probabilities. For those of you who are excited to see what's going on every week, Matson will give you a calibrated view of every game. The real odds of a win, draw, or loss. Not just a vibe or a guess. It's not going to screen shock result. It's not going to fall for, you know, Old Trafford of the Fortress or whatever. It's going to calmly and quietly tell you how likely these results actually were. The best part, it updates every week unifying those three forces and bringing them together to carefully think about what's happening. Game by game, team by team, always recalibrating, always thinking, always considering the three forces. Look, football's messy. It's easy to fall for any number of traps. You can spiral on recent form. Trust me, I'm a City fan, I know that. You can plug your ears and ignore the obvious evidence right in front of you. Or you just end up listening to those three guys I talked about in the beginning of the video. Every kickoff, the game gives you a chance to rethink what you thought you knew. Matson doesn't promise certainty. In fact, it does the opposite. It leans into the uncertainty. It's not about being first or loudest or perfect. It's about staying calibrated while everything else gets noisy. If you want to follow the season that way, with clarity, with perspective, and without losing your mind in the takes, you're in the right place. Stay tuned here. I will give you more videos on Mots and I'll walk through how it's doing, how we built it. For the tech nerds in you, I'll absolutely walk through the math line by line by line and show you exactly the full stack and how I did it. I'll be updating this channel every week with team strength trends, match probabilities, full table expectations, counterfactuals, what happens if, what would have happened if, what did we see, what are the big stories behind the numbers. So follow the channel. Follow me on threads, find a model on GitHub. All the links are in the description, but thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. It really helps me grow this channel, helps me do cool things. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.